Good day, dear learners. Welcome to TV Broadcast Quella. I am Teacher Kim, and I will make this day a perfect day for learning. At this point, quickly get your pen and paper for you to be able to take down notes. Today, we will talk about the parts of the compound microscope and their functions. In this lesson, you are expected to identify and label the parts of a compound microscope and explain the functions of each part of the microscope. Have you experienced manipulating a microscope? If not, I'm sure you have an idea of what is a microscope. A microscope is an instrument used in science laboratories to visualize very minute objects such as cells and microorganisms, giving an inverted image that is magnified. We'll know more about microscope and its parts with this video clip. But before that, please take note that you will be answering these questions. What are the different parts of a compound microscope? How do they work? So I guess we are all set. Let's watch this short clip. Base. It is the basal, horseshoe-shaped structure. It provides support to all the remaining parts of the microscope. Pillar. A small, strong vertical projection developing from the foot or base. Arm. It is a curved and strong structure used for handling the entire instrument. Inclination joint. A joint at which the arm is attached to the pillar of the microscope. Stage. A flat plate attached to the lower end of the arm. Slide or object is placed on the stage and studied. A hole is present in the center of the stage. Light rays pass through this hole. Clips. Two clips are attached on the upper part of the stage. These are used for holding the slide in position. Diaphragm, it is attached beneath the stage. It regulates the intensity or amount of light entering to the microscope. Baditude, it is the tubular, hollow part attached to the upper part of the arm of the microscope. It can be moved up and down with the help of adjustment knobs. Nose piece. It is a circular and revolving metallic part attached to the lower end of the body tube. It has three holes in which objective lenses can be fitted. Coarse adjustment knob. It is a large sized knob used to move the body tube up and down for bringing the object into focus. Fine adjustment knob is a small sized knob used for fine and sharp focusing of the object. Exact focusing is done by this knob. The second part is the optical parts that is used to enlarge the specimen. Eyepiece or ocular it is a lens fitted at the top of the body tube. It is always marked with a number 5 times, 10 times, 15 times on its ring. This number shows its magnification power. Magnified image of the object is seen with the eyepiece. Objective lenses. Three objective lenses are attached to the revolving nose piece at the bottom of the body tube. These are low power object mirror. It is either attached to the lower end of the arm or to the pillar. It contains a plane mirror on one side and a concave mirror on the other side. Mirror is used to reflect light rays into the microscope. 
And there you have it. Now just a short recap, we have learned about the parts of a compound microscope and its function. Parts of the compound microscope may be grouped into two major categories. What are those? Right, the two parts are the mechanical parts that is used to support and adjust the parts of the microscope and the optical parts that is used to enlarge the specimen. Now, let's check your understanding. What part of the microscope that regulates the intensity or amount of light entering to the microscope? Correct, it is the diaphragm. It is a large sized knob used to move the body tube up and down for bringing the object into focus. Correct, it's the coarse adjustment knob. Exact focusing is done by this knob. The fine adjustment knob. It is a lens fitted at the top of the body tube. It is the eyepiece. It is used to reflect light rays into the microscope. It's the mirror. It has been a great day to all of us since you have learned something new. Don't forget our lesson today since we will be applying all the learnings for our next class. Once again, I am your science teacher, Sir Kim, and this is TV Broadcast Well.